If you were hoping to get one of AMD's new Big Navi RDNA 2 GPUs, I have some possibly bad news. You may not be able to get it, just like the RTX 3000 series. There's some new information from one of AMD's partners. Let's discuss why this may be very important. Hey guys, Tiago with Classical Technology here. Remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell if you like my content. Remember the thumbs up on the video helps the YouTube algorithm. So let's talk about AMD's RDNA 2 Big Navi, specifically the 6800 and the 6800 XT. Now, everybody is really looking forward to the November 18th launch. And if you guys are curious what time this GPU is supposed to launch on November 18th, keep watching my videos in the future. As soon as I have some idea of a more firm time, I'll definitely let you guys know it's going to be probably sometime in the morning maybe 9 a.m eastern as we've had the other launches with zen 3 and even the nvidia gpu launches but of course amd hasn't told us what the launch time will be all that we know is that it's november 18th and of course the 6900 xt is going to be coming only in december so there's been a huge amount of demand for gpus including first the rtx 3080 nobody was able to get it very low numbers were actually out according to the demand that was out out. The RTX 3090, probably even worse, even less GPUs made, less people were able to get it. The RTX 3070, technically, I think the launch was a little better. I did a poll on with my viewers, and they said roughly 12 to 13 percent were able to get the RTX 3070. Of course, this is a GPU with an MSRP of $499, and it's a more mainstream GPU, so a lot more of them were made, but still, most people couldn't get a 3070, even if you tried to get one now. You're going to have a little bit of a tough time finding one close to msrp so all of these launch issues have really turned people's attention toward amd's gpus there are several reasons why people have sort of an open heart towards the amd launches they really think amd's probably going to save us not only with pricing as they've shown the benchmarks the gpus surprisingly really are taking nvidia head on in a lot of cases they're very competitive against the 3080 even the 3090 so a lot of people certainly were shocked at that and they're really looking forward to AMD to deliver not only on the performance side but also on the stock and availability side. Now there are a few things that may make this a little bit more possible. As we know all of the AMD GPUs being released are going to be using the more commonly available GDDR6 VRAM as opposed to the 3080 and 3090 which use the much rarer GDDR6X VRAM. Now if the performance difference is that much more on that VRAM compared to what AMD has, that's sort of a subject for a different video, but at least AMD is providing 16 gigabytes of VRAM as opposed to the 3080, which just had a paltry 10 gigabytes of VRAM. Even though it is the faster GDDR6X, it sort of put gamers in a little bit of a funny situation, because if you're going to max out at 4K, something like Flight Simulator 2020, you may start to have some VRAM issues with something that only has 10 gigabytes of VRAM. So certainly, I think a lot of people may prefer to have the little bit slower VRAM and have it be 16 gigabytes. I know AMD is also doing some software magic to sort of make up for some of that speed difference. That certainly may be another reason why these AMD GPUs people are hoping may be a little bit more available. But recently we heard some fairly big news from Asus, an AMD partner. I think this came somewhere out of Europe. Basically, they said expect the RX 6800 XT and even the 6800 to sell out within minutes to be absolutely very very limited now this might be some disheartening news for people that are hoping that stock levels are going to be higher and of course we know that the 6900 xt will be an even more limited stock probably part of the reason why amd separated that launch it's in december now the 6800 and 6800 xt will be november 18th and according to this person stock is going to be very very limited and sell out within minutes now we could pretty much see this coming from a mile away i don't think anybody's surprised that amd gpus which have been hyped up to a level that we've never seen before with all of the performance benchmarks and the price actually sort of beating nvidia for the most part the 6800 xt is 50 dollars cheaper than 
the RTX 3080, and it seems to equal it or beat it in a lot of games. Not to mention, the 6900 XT is $500 cheaper, partly because of that cheaper and less VRAM that it has, compared to the RTX 3090. And then the regular RX 6800, not the XT, that one at 579 is more expensive than the 3070, and while performance numbers do seem to put it performing a little bit ahead um, as compared to the 2080 Ti, remember at the time AMD released the benchmarks, the 3070 wasn't out, so they never compared them side by side. They just compared it against the 2080 Ti because everybody is also comparing the 3070 to the 2080 Ti, so it certainly makes a lot of sense. It definitely seems to pull ahead of the 3070. 70 in a lot of cases, but it is $579, so it doesn't seem like it's exactly the best value proposition. 6800 XT for a little bit more certainly seems to be the much better GPU. So even though we have a pretty good idea that these GPUs will sell out in minutes, according to this report, it's pretty much confirmed that it's going to be very limited. I think we're going to have a similar situation to probably the 3070. I don't think it's going to be as bad as the 3080 launch. I think certainly minutes sounds like actually a very long time because in my experience the 3080 and 3090 launch if you had even seconds to buy a gpu that seemed pretty reasonable so if somebody tells me i have minutes in order to be able to get an amd gpu for me that sounds like a month because minutes means i actually have time to add it to my cart uh, log in even if i'm not logged in yet and you should probably should be logged in maybe even enter my credit card information that's what minutes sounds like to me and it's still going to be in the cart and the check process and i'm going to go out on a limb here and just sort of decode or translate him saying minutes to what may be i don't know 30 seconds 45 seconds that's pretty much even better than what the rtx 3080 launch was Regardless, these GPUs will be in very much demand for the reasons that we mentioned. AMD hyped up the performance and they definitely seem to be performing very well. People haven't been able to get GPUs in general, including the RTX 3000 series, so they're thirsty for any GPU. People really want to build a computer with the new Zen 3 CPUs, so once again, they really need that GPU to complete the cycle. Now, AMD did release a statement to their partners a few weeks ago as well, basically sort of giving them suggestions on what they should do in order for a launch to be smooth. Really trying to limit the access to bots and other nefarious means at getting these products, trying to limit to one person, um, trying to do some type of like CAPTCHA or even a queue system like EVGA has. So hopefully these partners will actually listen to what AMD said and they're gonna implement these things. We may be able to take a few hints from the Zen 3 launch as to how possibly the AMD GPU launch will be. Now the high-end CPUs from Zen 3, like the 5900 and the 50 5950X. Those certainly seem to have sold out very, very rapidly, and it was fairly difficult to find them. Now, the 5800X seemed to be available for a little bit longer, and the 5600X actually seemed to be in stock for a decent amount of time. The first place to have a pre-order was B&H, but the first place that people actually were able to get one, I believe, was Newegg. They did seem to have a decent amount of 5600X CPUs. In fact, I checked the website, and it was up for a good 10 to 15 minutes before it sold out. Of course, the higher-end SKUs like the 5950X, which we can assume are available in much limited quantities. That certainly sold out a lot faster, but on launch day, I even made a trip to Micro Center, and I wasn't there before the store opened, but I was there within the first 10 minutes of the store opening, and I was able to actually get a voucher for a 5600X. Ryzen 5600 Micro Center. Of course, most of them were the 5600X, but a few people that were lucky in there early were able to get the 5950X and the 5900X CPU. Now, that's why I've always said Micro Center, if you have one near you, it's gonna be one of the best places to get all of these new hardware items that are difficult to find. On the internet, you're really competing against bots and scalpers and people that have like Discord servers and all types of things that make your life very difficult. Sometimes it may be easier just to go in person, wait in line a little bit, and and that way, if the RTX 3070 launch and the Zen 3 launch are any indication, if you're at the store sort of, you know, pretty close to opening time and there isn't a crazy amount of people there already for a few days, most likely you'll be able to get one of these items on launch day. That's how a lot of people got 3070s. 
and even Zen 3 Ryzen 5000. I was there within the first 10 minutes. Anybody else that was there was pretty much able to get one. Of course, as the day went on, probably only the 5600X was available as that also became sold out. But in general, they even had an RTX 3080 that just got shipped that day. So if you actually go to the store, you may get pretty lucky and you may be able to get something that very same day. So sort of analyzing everything that's happened so far, are you going to be able to get the RX 6800, 6800 XT when it launches on November 18th? While I do think some people will, I don't mean nobody at all will get it. I still think, like the Asus rep said from one of AMD's partners in Europe, it's going to be sold out in a matter of minutes. It's going to go very, very quickly. So certainly not everybody's going to be able to get it. They're not going to be able to meet that demand. We're going to have to wait probably in 2021 until you can more easily buy one of these GPUs. But keep watching the channel. Remember to subscribe. Subscribe. I'm going to put out a few guides on maximizing your chances at actually being able to get one of these GPU at launches. I've been putting together everything that I've learned so far from the RTX 3000 series launches from the Zen 3 launch. That way I can give you guys the best advice on maximizing your chances at getting one of these GPUs. Alright guys, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys on the next video.